March 21st, 2023 in Big Bear, California. This is the view from our hotel. Let's go for a nice drive right now. If you guys like what I'm doing, please hit like and subscribe and share the videos, please. I would really appreciate it, guys. Look at this. Look at how pretty that is. Well, good morning, everybody. It is March 21st, 2023. And uh, you just got a nice view out our hotel window. Love you guys. Once again, if you guys like what I'm doing, please hit like and subscribe. Help me out. I would appreciate it. Share the videos too. But anyway, good morning to everybody. Didn't sleep a wink. It was just too, like, way too comfortable at the hotel with being on the lake and the snow there. It was super hard, but we got a few inches overnight and it's starting to really pick up again. Um, by the way, just wanted to say thank you again to each and every single one of you who showed us so much love and support regarding our dog that went missing in East LA at our daughter's place. Um, we, he's with my mother-in-law now. Long story short, a homeless person who found the dog and carried the dog to Petco and they scanned the dog and uh, my wife got a call. And I'm telling you, it was one of the most emotional moments that I've had in a long, long time. I just want to say thank you guys again. You guys have been have showed so much love and, and so much respect and just thank you guys. Thank you guys. We have our dog back because you guys show so much love and you guys are such beautiful people. I am so blessed to have you in my life. I am so grateful for each and every single one of you. Thank you for doing that for us. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I can never thank you enough for being so loving and so kind towards us. It's because of all all the love, the law of, of attraction. I'm, I'm telling you guys, with everyone thinking about our dog and thinking about us, that got sent out into the universe. And I'm telling you, without you guys, I don't think we would have the dog back. You guys and my higher power. So thank you, I love you guys so much. I owe you guys the whole world, I owe you everything. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So let me Let's see here. So this is what we got going on right now. It's pretty moderate to heavy stuff this whole time. We'll see what it says the next. So the snow totals went down a little bit from like 33 inches it said a few hours ago to now 22 inches but i'll take the 22 inches i'm happy happy with that so let's let's check this out this is today 8 to 12 inches during the morning and 8 to 12 inches at night so we could get two feet just today and then tomorrow one to three inches a couple snow showers at night and then that's gonna be it oh wow thursday night looks like a, a couple snow showers that's brand new but yeah guys Thank you guys for everything. Thank you for being so loving. You guys are our heroes. I am the most blessed man who ever lived to have each and every single one of you as my brother and sister. I love you guys with all my heart. And I've never had anybody care about me as much as you guys care. You guys, I've been an emotional wreck in a really good way for the past 12 hours because of you guys and finding the dog, so thank you. So we're gonna go drive by Aspen Glen picnic area and then do our, a drive through the village and then I'm gonna take you guys, even though we don't need to because there's no one in town, take you guys on the back streets to get to Moon Ridge from the village. Thought you guys would enjoy that. All right, and then look, it's 33 degrees outside, 727. Or actually, no, it's 7.20. That, that clock's 30 minutes fast. Let's see, it's 7.03. So at this next street, we're gonna turn left up here. And let me turn up the air a little bit, just to kind of melt the ice that's on our windshield. So we're gonna turn left here on Tulip. Three Look at how deep it is over here. They got a good five, five inches already. So the prediction so far has been right. The snow tires on this vehicle are working out great. 
Oh, it's so pretty, you guys. Oh my goodness. How's everyone doing today? How are you guys doing today? Are you guys doing great? Let me know how you guys are doing. Leave a comment for me. You, you guys know I love responding to you guys. That's my favorite part of doing these videos these days. I am so grateful to have you guys as my family. Thank you for loving Big Bear and loving us. There's really not enough words I can actually say for how much you guys really mean to me. I would do anything for you all. Whenever you guys are up here, if you know, I don't have lots of time usually, but I always, always do my best to at least meet you to shake your hand. And that would be very special for me. So this is kind of a, a sledding area that I've showed you guys in the sledding video. If you can find a legal place to park. And we're cutting through some fresh snow here. This is great. Well, let's just show yeah, there's about five or six inches already right here. We're going to keep on going straight. We will be going past the Aspen Glen. Big Bear, Bear, look at how beautiful that is. Oh, yeah. Okay, we're not going to go into the, the picnic area. But there's, there's no one behind us, so I just want to get a good look. This is a great place. You go in here and park, you guys. Look at that creek. You go in here and park, and then all these hills are all for you guys to conquer. All you youngsters, get your mom and dad to take you here and come sledding. You will not regret it. You will not regret it. And when we pull out here, we're gonna be coming up to a paid sledding area. Why, why that's good is so your kids don't, don't waste all their energy climbing up the hills. Um, there's an automatic, or I don't know what it's called. It's it, 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 like at the airport, those moving walkways. Well, they have those at both of our main uh, sledding locations that pull you up to the top. So literally your kids can just have fun all day and not have to get tired. They can have a great time and just charge. It's fantastic, you guys. I can't wait to see you guys come up here. I can't wait to see all the smiles. I can't wait to see all the hugs from from moms and dads with their kids. This is, this is the stuff that I love so much about here, about being here. It brings me back to my childhood. That's why I moved up here because of we having a house in Lake Arrowhead when I was a little kid from the age 10 till 15 and the best best memories of my life are there even though I spent I've been all over the world still my best memories to this day are Lake Arrowhead because my family was one we, we were all together and that's why I moved up here to get that nostalgia back but yeah look guys so this is a roller coaster area as well as our sledding one of our sledding areas it's called the alpine slide at magic mountain as i said it's got a, a walkway um, a moving walkway that pull, pulls you up to the top you can't see it now but once we get past this building right here you'll, you'll be able to get a little shot of it oh it's so great it's so great you guys anyway we're back on big bear boulevard as you guys saw we got potentially by about one o'clock today to two o'clock today another foot of snow and then after that by about midnight or one in the morning another foot of snow so even though it says 22 inches in the next 48 hours which is is basically after the storm's done um there's still a chance, you guys. There's still a chance we could get, you know, 30 more inches. I'm hoping we do for all of you guys. I am so excited for you guys to come up here. You guys make this town so special. I am so excited. All right, so we're going to go through the village now. Look at these big chunks of snow from the snow plow. We're just going to go right right through it hey right through yeah there we go oh true
beautiful. Just gorgeous, you guys. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. So empty and so beautiful. Oh. Once again, it is March 21st, you guys. I can't believe how fast this month's gone. Unbelievable. According to my car, it says 32 degrees outside. Let's see what it says. So my weather channel app says it's 28 outside. Right, we're going to hang a lefty Lucy here. We're on Village Drive right now. We're going to turn left on Pine Knot. And it's 710. It's so So we're going to take a loop through Petter Street and then come back around through the end of the village the other way. Oh yeah, fresh tracks, baby. Fresh tracks, you gotta love it. I hope this is the right area. It's gorgeous. Snow tires are working like a champ right now. I'm loving it. Not having any issues, y'all. You know, we just slid around a little bit right there, but that was fun. That was fun. Oh, wait till you guys see. Well, I'm sure you guys already saw it because it's the beginning of the video. But the clip that I started with at the beginning out of our hotel room oh my gosh you guys <laughs> so excited this is big bear boulevard y'all let's get a little loose here oh yes all right let's make a left here oh look at the, look, the snow blowing off that that roof right there, it's awesome. All right, so we're gonna be turning back into the village, the village. The village. So, let's pretend like there's a lot of traffic on Big Bear Boulevard right now, you guys, okay? I'm gonna show you guys how to get all the way to Moonridge without dealing with any traffic when there's a lot of traffic. So excited for you guys to come up. I better see a bunch of snowmen in a few days out here. A bunch of them. I really want to see that, you guys. So get up here and make them snowmen. All right, so we're at Village Drive now. We are on Pine Knot, but we're going to turn left on Village Drive. And Village Drive turns into Pennsylvania Avenue. So you just want to stay straight once we get to the stop sign up here, folks. Oh, 
And as I said, we are going to take the shortcut into Moon Ridge. Look at that. Uphill, no problems. Now we're making freshies. Very good, very good. You gotta like the fresh tracks. So we're gonna take this until we get to the very end of the road. And I believe that street is called Jeffries. I believe. So Pennsylvania Avenue until Jeffries. It's pretty easy, you guys, because you, most of the turns you'll be making are where the road kind of ends and you come to a T. Yep, it's Jeffries. And then we're gonna end up making a left on Jeffries and then a, your first right, which is called Oak Street. You're gonna turn right on Oak. Pretty easy so far, right guys? Straight ahead, way up there is Big Bear Boulevard. As I said, we're pretending like there's a lot of traffic on there because I wanna get you guys back and forth wherever you need to go without wasting time. You guys come up here and spend a lot of money, pay exorbitant prices for stuff. I want you guys to have some extra benefit up here. Just remember you're in a neighborhood. Just just please drive, drive safe and sound, you guys. Remember, in these conditions, there will be a lot of kids typically out, so you just wanna be extra cautious. Okay. And this, we're not going to the end, but basically when you come up to these two bright yellow signs that says not a through street, you know you need to turn left here. So we're turning left from Oak onto Eureka. Eureka, folks, Eureka. And then you'll stay on this until it curves around. And when it curves around, it changes its name to McWhinney. M-C-W-H-I-N-N-E-Y, McWhinney. You don't have to make any early turns or anything like that just stay on it until look if you if you try to go straight it's not a through the street you'll run into that wall straight ahead so you got to take this around it's called mcwinnie and at the end here when this comes to the end this next tree is called ren w-r-e-n you can either go right or left at the very end here you can't go straight so you're going to turn left on ren and then a right on Brownie and take that all the way to Moon Ridge. Or S Summit Boulevard to go to Snow Summit. Okay, so this is Ren right here. And now we got Brownie Lane. And you guys are good. There you go. Look at this, fresh tracks. Here we go, folks, freshies. Oh, it's great. It feels so good. It's butter, baby, butter. Oh, I love making these freshies, you guys. This is fantastic. Whoever did this plowing, kind of a tool, or maybe like, just put, it, put it in the middle of the road, buddy. There you go.
Okay, so this is called Thrush. I, I'm, I'm only bringing it up because this is the exit for Snow Summit to the right. So when you come into Snow Summit from Summit Boulevard, you'll usually take this out. And that's Big Bear Boulevard right there. All right, so let's just keep on going straight here. The next stop sign is gonna be Summit Boulevard. shortcut to a little further down on Moon Ridge just so you guys can check her out so we're gonna turn on summit as I said if you guys keep on going straight you're gonna hit Moon Ridge Road okay it's the next stop sign after this stop sign here's summit here's 7-eleven here's Jeep coming and there's Big Bear Boulevard right there take this to evergreen you guys evergreen evergreen look at that monster plow what's up bro you want to play chicken i know this looks really really wide but it, it's only one lane each side you guys I know it's difficult to see these things, but so straight ahead, Snow Summit, they're not gonna let us through. So we're just gonna drive by Bear. Oh, it's just so gorgeous. Isn't it so beautiful waking up there, honey bunny? I'm so, so honored to be able to take you there, baby. I love you so much. I'll see you shortly. Remember, I have to go back to the house to upload the video. I'll be done with it in 10 or 15 minutes and then I gotta upload. Wow, it's gorgeous. You guys, it's incredible how the this town transforms just from it's a completely different place now this is heaven this is heaven you guys and thank you guys again thank you guys for for saving me emotionally saving my wife once again it's because of your love that we found our dog or that we got our dog back. We didn't find it. Some sweetheart found our dog for us. And the sad thing is, is that right away, I asked my um, wife, I was like, I need to take one of my credit cards and get a cash advance so we can give that homeless person hundreds of dollars. So we called Petco and the person didn't leave any any info, nothing. Like, like a true angel. Like sent from above true angel but that kind of bothered us a little bit because i thought like I, I was feeling so good about stoking out someone who's homeless maybe give them enough money to stay in like a motel for a week or something oh man like such an absolute bummer but you know what that's humanity in that that case is just spectacular what what a beautiful person and i just wish and pray for them always that they'll be okay okay here we go this is moon ridge road and straight ahead that's apple's bed and breakfast look at moon ridge yeah boy look at that thing jeez louise Back on Moon Ridge, we're getting some big snowflakes right now. My car still says 32, so I'm taking that as gospel. Here's our roundabouts. So lame, not a fan, 
not a fan. It does look pretty. It really does, but I don't see how it's helping yet. If any of you can share with me why it is helping, I would love to know that because I don't want to, you know, give it a bunch of gook if it's actually doing doing something positive, but I just think it's causing more problems. Most roundabouts are actually useful and they, they serve a purpose. I totally get that. So we're gonna go the other way to get to Bear. We're gonna turn left here at this roundabout instead of going straight. So pretty. Here's our zoo, you guys. We're gonna be doing a zoo video in the next month for sure. I'm so excited, excited about that, man. Get it, do the excite, man. Honey, I love you so much. I can't wait to come home and try to get a few hours of sleep and cuddle next to you, my baby. You deserve this hotel so much. If I could do this all the time for you, you know I would, baby. Okay, guys. Oh, it's so pretty. That's the golf course that we're looking at here to the right, you guys. I forgot I have my train horn in this car. person was looking down, just driving straight at me. I had the honk. I wasn't being a jerk, you guys. You guys saw that. I didn't have a choice. Had to wake them up a little bit. All right, look at that. You guys, uh, during storms like this, and, and, and when it's the typical wet snow like it is, there are so many snowmen that pop up in, 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 on that golf course. It is so, so adorable. Our town needs you guys. Our town needs you guys to come up here. Okay. So we're getting up towards like middle Moon Ridge area. We'll be seeing more and more snow. If you could hit the like and subscribe and share button, that would be awesome. That would be awesome. I, I want people all over the world to see Southern California and snow. I think it's pretty cool. I think it's pretty cool. Another really cool thing is that we can ski and surf in the same day. I've done that before numerous times. Go out for like a 5.30, 6 a.m. session when it's still a little bit dark outside and then get up here by about 9.30, 10 a.m. Oh, it's beautiful. Turn left here, but there's someone stuck in the middle of the road putting on their chains. Awesome, right in the middle of the road. Don't do the middle of the road, guys. You can get really hurt. I'm not mad at them, I'm worried about them. You can get really hurt. Okay, here's Bear Mountain. No cars behind us. So we'll just kind of this. Oh yeah, it's so pretty. Oh, it's so 
gorgeous. Alright, right now we're on a street called Gold Mine, by the way. Moon Ridge turned into Gold Mine for this short little distance. And then now we're gonna turn right. And this street is called Club View. Seven thirty on the dot. According to the vehicle, temperature came down one degree. We're at thirty-one. Thirty-one now. We'll plug in this other phone so we can put the uh, GPS on. why it's not coming on. Duh, I have it plugged in the wrong area. you guys yeah we're gonna take club view back to uh, Moon Ridge Road So obsessive compulsive over this channel the only issue we might have guys is it might take me a little longer to respond to some comments from this video today but of course I'll do my best I've got to sleep once in a while guys that's our short little update of the morning and we will be doing a longer drive later we're also going to do a live feed today just driving around um, I'm excited I'm excited just driving around town we have internet in the car now I got it hooked up the unlimited annual plan so we're gonna test it out for the first time and thank you guys again for being here with me thank you for sharing this experience with me Thank you guys for showing so much love and helping us find our dog. You guys are incredible. The most amazing people I've, I've ever, ever had in my life. So 
Thank you. And if, once again, if you guys do enjoy what I'm doing, please, please hook me up with a like, a subscribe, and share it. I would really appreciate that. It's March 21st, 2023 in the Big Bear, California area. We got a couple more feet of snow coming. I love you guys to death. Thank you for everything. Bye, guys.